Hey there, Loopsters. This is Margaret, otherwise known as Athens Newbie. And I've been requested to actually tell you guys some recipes, but instead I'm going to make a little video about it. Tonight on the menu is going to be blueberry cobbler. It's one of the easiest recipes in the world and amazingly delicious. Okay, so here are all your ingredients that you're going to need. Okay, this is your most important ingredient, blueberries. You can use either fresh or frozen. These were actually picked over at my in-law's house. Then you're going to need flour, sugar, butter, cinnamon, lemon juice. That's it. It's the most amazing cobbler. You can use peaches, blackberries, blueberries, whatever you want, and it'll still be amazing. Preheat your oven. Uh, you can usually go between 375 and 400 degrees. My oven happens to cook a little cold, so we have to boost it up to 400. Then you are going to grease your baking dish. I like the glass type like this. It just seems to kind of spread everything out and bubbles up beautifully. Then you're going to want to wash your fruit. Okay, now you've got your fruit washed and made sure that you've picked all your, your stems and your leaves out. And as you can see, for this, this is an 8, and a half, or eight by 11 and a half size baking dish. I've used pretty much a half gallon. Um, the bigger the, the pan, the more berries you're going to use. The smaller the pan, the less berries. All right, on to making um, this into the most amazing thing you've ever had. Basically, you're going to spray the top with just lemon juice. You can use fresh lemon juice or the prepackaged stuff. And you can either use the Minute Maid type uh, lemon juice or you can use a fresh lemon. After you have that sprayed on there, you're just going to sprinkle the top rather liberally with cinnamon. Doesn't matter what brand I'm using, the cheapest store brand I could find, it still comes out amazing. Okay, on to making the crust. This is going to be the easiest thing you've ever heard. Very simple recipe. One cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one stick of butter. If you're using real butter, you will want to have it at room temperature so it's easy to cut and easy to blend. Otherwise, you can cheat like me and just use margarine. I've already got it just chunked up into some slices, so just one, one, one. So I'm going to use my KitchenAid stand mixer to, to mix this, but you can use a food processor or uh, this type of mixer. And basically, you just turn it on and kind of let it slowly work together. It's going to create basically a crumble type of uh, dough. Okay, now that our dough is pretty much finished mixing, you can see it's got a nice little powder to it. And also, if you squeeze it, it will kind of create a, a firmer texture. I'm going to take it over here to your blueberries. As you can see, I've liberally sprinkled the top of it with cinnamon without overdoing it. And now you're literally just going to dump it right on top. Okay, this is just a 1-1-1 one, one, one recipe, but if you like a little bit more crust to it, you can double the recipe. Or uh, if you're like me, I really like it how the juices bubble up and, and kind of cook all together. So this is a perfect size for me. Now you're going to drop it in your preheated oven and let it cook for 45 minutes. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes, and I really wish you could smell it. It smells so good. It's excruciating. So, basically, once your cobbler's finished, it should look something like that. You want the crust to be nice and brown, and the uh, juices from the fruit to be bubbling up. So now you're just going to let it sit for five or six minutes, just kind of let it cool down enough to be able to handle it. Okay, so now we are ready to serve the blueberry cobbler. My favorite way to do it, literally just scoop some into a bowl. You can put either, you know, vanilla or uh, vanilla ice cream or just some whipped topping on top of it. And serve it with some coffee. It'll be the best dessert you've ever had. Well, I hope you really enjoy. It's a really easy dessert to make, and I hope you make it for years to come.